what it is to be a woman. How do what do women do with their eyes? When do they look down? When do they smile? When are they coy? When are they passionate? Um, watching Hollywood movies, they're only very limited ways of being a woman or of being a man or of what it means to be in love. What is avant-garde? How do you interact with popular culture? How are we influenced by the media? Can you imagine the absurdity of growing up in a place where you can't speak the languages around you? Do this. I know. <sighs> Candace Brights was born in Johannesburg, South Africa in 1972. She has studied some of the world's finest institutions and has received numerous awards and honors. She currently resides and works in Berlin, Germany. Carry it along the rest of my life. I'm scared. Oh. Always being compared to you. Absolutely. Yeah. But the thing is... Warner, I completely... Candace Bright's me. primary media are painting and photography. By re-editing popular Hollywood films, Bright's gives them new meaning. What? You're breaking up with me? I thought you were proposing. I traded him in. Gonna go back to being me. Candace Bright sees pop culture as an international language. Tell us about she uses yourself. pop culture material as a hook to communicate with people from different backgrounds who speak different languages and who have had different experiences. Who are you? <clears throat> Haven't I seen you somewhere before? I don't know. The same thing you wanted when you were their age. Sex, sex, sex. No, no boy comes no. in this house and takes my daughter anywhere unless I know. The her. overarching theme in all of Bright's Who's work is identity. She Where focuses on different aspects of this theme, the asking what it means to be a woman or a man, comparing anonymity and celebrity, Total. the somebodies Total. and the nobodies. Total. She looks Total. at different relationships, including those among spouses, parents, <laughs> children, celebrities, and average people. And when it happens, it'll be special. <laughs> it'll be beautiful.